I like working with the Adobe Air platform and recently somebody asked me a question about opening up another window from the main application when you're working with Adobe Air. So I thought I would go ahead and show that today. A uh, few examples of where you might use this for example is you have the main application window. Uh, it could be a file list for example and when you click on that file it opens up another window and displays the contents or you know maybe something like a media player that opens up a video window those kind of things. It's pretty straightforward to do it and I'm going to show you how to do it today. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create a new Flex project and this time it will be a desktop application. Uh, it's going to run in the Adobe Air runtime. I'm just going to call it my application. And click next, click next again, just leave all the defaults, they're all fine, and click finish. The next thing I'm going to do here is create a custom component that I'm actually going to use as the contents for the window that's going to appear. Um, I love using components and I recommend checking out my other videos on simple components and how to create them and how to use them. So I'm just going to make uh, just my standard thing here, a new folder called com and inside there I'm going to do another new folder and I'm going to call that one UI Buzz. So in here we'll just create a new MXML component and this time around we're it's going to be based on window so we'll start typing window and where is it on the list here there you go click window I'm just going to give it a size of 300 by 200 pixels and I'm going to call this my component and click finish and just so we have something in there I'll just add a little label that says something let's just put that there and say hello and let's go ahead and save that now let's go back to the main application here uh, we need something to control to uh, make this window appear so I'm just gonna add a button we'll just put a button up here in the corner and I'm just gonna give it a label that says open window and we need to give it an ID so I'll give it an ID of button open window okay let's go over to the source code here so of course we need some code to give the button respond to the button click here so we'll just give it a click event and we're gonna call a function that we'll call open window. So now let's go ahead and create our script tags here and let's put in the function private function open window no return so it's void and then what we're going to do is we're basically going to say var my window and we're going to type it to our component so it's going to be my component and that's going to be a new instance of my component like so and then we're just going to say my window dot open and we're going to go ahead and save the file and if we now go ahead and just click the debug here to run if we click on the open window button we get our new window appear and then we can just close there I'll just show you again so there you go pretty straightforward now what about if you know and you see this in a lot in like about boxes for example you want to have a button in here rather than going up and clicking on the X to close you want a button to close this so well that's pretty straightforward let's just close these we're gonna go back to the component and we'll just add in a button and we're going to say a label of close and give us a button name of close go over to source same thing again we need to add some script in here so we'll just add some script tags and we'll say private function and we'll give this a function name of close window void for no return again and all we're going to say is this dot close now we need to go down to our button we need to give it a click event so that when we click on the button we get a click event and we need to call the function so we'll just say close window 
and save that. Now let's go back to my application and we'll run it again. We'll click open window and now you can see we have this close button and we just click the close button and it'll close the window. So there you go, I'll just show you again. So that's it, that, that is how you make a window appear in an Adobe Air application. It's pretty straightforward, you just create an instance here of the component and then you just say mywindow.open. You can certainly go ahead and set other properties if you start typing my window. You know, you can see we have all the usual things. You can set things like the height and the width and all those kind of things. So there's lots of options for you to play with, um, but these are basically the, the simple lines of code that you need to get you up and running and just get that window to appear.